Hey! Stay out of this. How much? Wait, what? How much? What? How much? What? How much more? What? How much more do I have to pay you? What? To become your employer? Wait. She'll be dancing the. I think Lumini needs some help. Uh, there's a little boy casting a spell on her. Lumini, why, why are you moving your head like that? Zuzi on the track. <laughs> Welcome back, my people. It's time to continue this quest. Uh, dog, move. Sumeru City! <laughs> It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. How would you know, dog? Mind your own business. Oh. The Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. It's our beloved Greater Lord Rukadavata's... Greater Lord Rukadavata? Greater Lord Rukadavata? As long as you are within Sumeru's borders, you may use an Akasha terminal to connect directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. Oh, that's dope. Oh. You two are quite fortunate. Here are your Akasha terminals. These are some fine-looking AirPods. Whoa. Just now, something clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this oh, thing! Oh, hold up! Seems all we need to do is concentrate on what we want to know! Hold up, I mean this guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. The device is giving me the wisdom of the gods, and it's telling me that this dude needs to shave his stash. That goatee <laughs> need a gold, too. Exactly. And with that, let me officially welcome you both to- Thank you, bye. Uh, what are you going to ask? Uh, why don't the Akasuka answer my question? Lesser Lord Kusanali. Greater Lord Rukudavata. Many bright dots appeared in my mind. I probably need to calm my mind. Focus more to understand what they mean. Feelings of affection. Intimacy. Nostalgia. Sadness. These seem to be what the people of Sumeru feel by the departed Archon. That's a Lord Kusanali. Some knowledge began to trickle into my mind for moments. But there wasn't really anything I didn't already know. You too? Well? A vague thought suddenly comes to mind. The Akasha don't unconditionally respond to every query. Also, even if the same query is requested by multiple people. Yo, dog, this is so lame. Can Lumini just talk? Huh. Hello. Are you Rohali? Oh my god. Another dude who needs a razor to shave his stash. Yes. Great! You see- This isn't my area of expertise. Aww. Don't mention it. So what do we do now? Ad Astra Abbas- No. No. Ad Astra Abbasask. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. No. Catherine! How are you acting so casual? This lady is a bot. Polly planned to take over the entire world. She probably the unknown god. Understood. Do you want to meet with- Understood. Please wait. Oh, what, you got you got to load up the details in your in, in your computer? I apologize. Aww. Do not worry. An advisor with the Core of 30 maintains good relations with the Adventurer's Guild. You can find him at the Core of 30's headquarters. You're welcome. Mm. Uh, welcome. Nice to meet you, Asfan. I see. Wait, ha, wait. Ha, if you ask me. Oh? Ha, wait, ha, really? Ha, wait, ha, all right. Well, ha, no problem. Isn't there at least... Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? Who are you? Huh? Who are you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, then do you know how... I'm afraid I can't help you with that. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. Oh, uh, you think I want to hear a legend? A tale? Sure. I don't want to hear nothing from you. I want to meet Grass Cleave. Sure. It goes like this. And then what happened? So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. What an amazing story. You know Lumini's being sarcastic. You can tell. Yeah. Um, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Uh, let's chat another day. What? Oh, she booked it. Hey, wait! Hey, have you two seen a brown-haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? Yes, she went that way. Uh... Quick, after her. I have crippling depression. Yo, girl, this ain't a good place to hide. You out in the open. Oh, it's you two. Hi. There's a tavern on the other side of the port we can go to. Ooh, hey. Oh, we I made like it. I like it. Oh, they shouldn't be able to find us now. Wait, stand down, dear. Hey, oh, I like 
like that. Oh, my heart. Girl, do you know how much power does I'm gonna spend on you? <laughs> my lady, who are these two? Your soon-to-be lover. They helped me hide. I see. You two should scram. There's nothing here for you. I mean, you're here. Wait a sec! I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard, here to see that she returns home safe and sound. Let's get going. And if I refuse, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. Hey! Stay out of this. How much? Wait, what? How much? What? How much? What? How much more? What? How much more do I have to pay you? What? To become your employer? Wait. Double? A triple? Give me some time and I'll get that much. Sure, I'll give her my whole bank account. She can join my party right now. I don't know what you think of us Eremites, but let me say this. I like Mora, and knowing your health, carelessly running around like this is gonna hurt ya. For the sake of those who love you, don't be stubborn. I love you, Dea. No, you're wrong. This is my life and my last chance. Are you sure what you're- Yes, fine. Thank you, Dia. I'll let you hire me, my lady. Okay. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. Okay. Yay! Mm -hmm. You constipated? Really? Stop trying to look tough. You don't mind? I sure! Well, if it isn't Dia. Yo, I'm liking all the cocoa skins I'm seeing. It's about time we seeing some color, some flavor. Word on the street is... How about a menu over here? You got it. We'll be sure to prepare our very best. Thank you, sir, but huh. I don't have a lot of mora on me. Huh. And I really ought to save as much as I can. Huh. Please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. Who are you again? Yeah! Uh, how about our coconut charcoal cakes? Other customers over there are eating some now. I could think of uh, some other coconut chocolate cake I'd be eating right What? I think I've actually seen her before. Huh? Yes, I woke up alone in my room. My body was paralyzed. At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. Who are you? Um, actually, I know everything about you. Really? They taking her to Celestia? Where's she going? Of course. I know that you're scared of thunder. Wow, you really do know everything. Oh, yo, I I'm kind of liking this quality, though. Dinner is odd. Is there anything you want? Can you make my illness go away? Oh, I'm sorry. Then, can you be my friend? The voice said, I'll be your friend. I told my mother about it. But she said that I must have been dreaming. But I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. It had to have been the Dendro Archon. In fact, I was running around- What's the sub- It's Lesser Lord Kusanelli's birthday. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanelli's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukadavata's death. Greater Lord Rukadavata? Greater Lord Rukadavata? Aww. Hold on. Yes, what? Of course. Jafar, you really let yourself go, man. You look like you shouldn't even be eating here. You look like you ate here too much. Oh, why, thank you. They got automatic doors in Samiru, too. They got everything here. I'm just loving the vibes of this city. Milu. Oh, 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 doing your zod. But if Dia's here, she's on our side now. <laughs> what? Oh, and who are these two? Who are you? Paimon, my two newest friends. Girl, I still don't even know your name. So you're followers from another land? No. Oh, really? No. Oh, really? No. Well, that's okay. No. By the way, you're very welcome. Come on, the stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. <laughs> <laughs> Nilu! She'll be dancing the. It's our dream. Nilu! A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Rukadavata's. Greater Lord Rukadavata? Oh, okay, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. They, they saying Greater Lord Rukadavata too much. Yeah. Thinking about the Goddess of Flowers dance makes me wish I could have seen it. If my stage were anything like that. Uh... <laughs> I'd be thrilled if I had just two real body saras on the stage. She really sound like uh the one we shall not speak of. <sighs> so interested in the Sabzerus festival? Will you two be coming? No. Ooh, Paimon thinks that's a great idea! Oh shoot, I forgot. I don't decide anything. Ah! Hey there, how you doing, girl? How you doing, girl? Oh, I just wanna say it. You got the finest midriff. Wait, what? Like, just, just look at the detail. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sent. I promise, I'm not sent. Like, just look how drippy she is. You see the sleeve she got? The freaking infinity gauntlet she wearing too? And she's a pyro? Nice. Now, my only question is, how do you even get your hair like that? 
and why? Freaking Deo trolling everybody thinking that she's a cat girl. I'm sorry to disappoint y'all. We ain't getting cat waifus in this game. The closest thing you'll get into a cat waifu is Kachin. But y'all, I just want to take, you know, like a quick 20 seconds to uh, appreciate this fine Coco waifu. Okay, that's enough. Also, you see my girl over there busting some moves? I see you. Uh, that dude just phased into existence. What you gotta say, little girl? Whoa, what's with your yellow hair? And why do your clothes look so funny? Are you an outlander? Why does your face look so funny? Why is your head so big? Nilu, your outfit looks amazing. <laughs> Did you sew all that yourself? <laughs> Zod, you look absolutely stunning with it on. It's like I'm looking at the goddess of flowers herself. Okay, <laughs> you know that's Cap. Look at her. That is mega Cap. Things are really shaping up, and there's a buzz around the festival this year. Yeah, unlike that haircut of yours. Ah, dancing at the Sub Zero's festival. You know, I also danced when I no, was younger. No, 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 I do not care, lady. Do not tell me your backstory. As a child, nope. I, my Grand the sub -Zero. Goodbye, goodbye. And of course, I had to save the best for last. I don't know much about the Grand Bazaar, but I do know that the residents here have a penchant for song and dance. <laughs> Two things that the academia doesn't particularly approve of. Oh, and the perfume sold around here is a lot better than what you'll find elsewhere. The fragrances are longer lasting and they're gentler on your skin and... Uh, I mean, <clears throat> that's uh, what I've heard at least. She was the last person I expected to be into to beauty products. I mean, she don't even need them. Just look at her. It looks like Catherine. Oh no, she's studying the location. She's planned her next attack. Look at the way she's walking. <laughs> This freaking bot. You could probably extract poison from those flowers. That's probably why she's studying them right now. This is the first time we've ever seen her taking a break. She's not taking a break, Pama. She's strategizing right now. She's calculating. <laughs> she's probably giving information to the doctor right now. Hey, Catherine. Why are we approaching? Why? What's shaking? Ew. What's shaking? Yeah, I don't like this. Standing behind the counter at the Adventurer's Guild doesn't require any complicated functions. Functions? But saying and doing the same old things over and over again can get pretty monotonous. Like watching the same Fontaine movie day after day. Fontaine got movies? You travel across to VAT to enrich your lives and gain new experiences. Yo. I really don't like the way she's talking. She's adapting. She's evolving. She's blending in with the crowd. She's trying to sound more and more human. Sometimes the answers we're looking for aren't necessarily at our intended destination. Instead, they're found along the way. Do you see what she's hitting at? She's saying it doesn't matter where we're going. She's saying we've already found the answer. She's the unknown god this whole time. See you around. Hmm. There's something. Hey, traveler. There ya. What's good, girl? Oh. I've got something to tell you. Oh. I have an idea that might help. Oh. Let's meet in front of the Citadel of Regzar. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a date. Ow.